Okay guys, so in the previous video we have created this design for our settings page and in this video we want to make everything work so we should be able to click the button to, to change the settings of our pages like so. And I think this will be the last video of this series so if you have come this far I really appreciate your support thanks a lot it would mean the world to me if you could just subscribe to this channel I'll try to keep making this type of video for you so yeah subscribe now if you haven't already and let's continue. Okay so first of all what I'm going to do is here I'm going to paste another variable so let me just paste it and then I'll explain so I'm going to paste it here so control V. So here we are creating another state we are calling it settings and then set settings this function will be used to update the settings. So this settings is just containing some variables here so if you go to our index.scss and scroll all the way up you will see we have these variables here so these variables are simply these variables here so we are simply just representing our CSS variable as a JavaScript object. So you will see why we will need it in a moment but for now I am going to paste another variable so let me just copy that variable paste it like so and let me fix the indentation like so so here we are going to have another variable so this is called themes and inside this themes array we have two themes so first one is our light theme and second one is our dark theme so in case of the light theme the background color the background light shadow color text color and text light will be same as the variables we already have in the settings array so the background color is white the background light is white the shadow color is some dark color the text color and these are also some dark color and this one is basically some variables for our dark theme so in this case the, our background colors are dark color the shadow color is dark but the text color and the text light is white so these are basically just our light and dark theme so we'll be able to toggle the themes here okay so now we're going to create a function so we're going to say function and the function name will be let's say change theme so we're going to say change theme and what this function will do is take an index as this argument so we're going to say i so this i can be 0 or 1 so 0 will represent light theme and 1 will represent dark theme so first we want to get the theme from our themes array so we're going to say const theme let's just call it underscore theme that is because we already have a theme array i think so somewhere here yeah so we already have a theme variable that is why we are calling it underscore theme so for this one we can simply say equals theme equals to and we can say themes i so we are getting the variable here what we also can do is wrap it inside square bracket and use the spread operator to create new object and not store the reference and after that we are also going to say set theme update our theme we are going to say if i equal equals to zero if i zero in that case we will set the theme to light otherwise we will set the theme to dark after that we are going to update the properties of our settings variable so for example if I were to choose dark theme so in that case which we should be able to update these variables with these new variables here so let's see how we can do that so let's go to our function where is that so this is our function so let's add a comment so we are going to say update settings like so so here we are going to first say let setting we are going to say let settings yeah underscore settings equals to again we are creating a new object from this settings so not the reference here and then we want to update our settings so we are going to say for let key in underscore settings so if we were to just say console.log so console.log our key let's see what happens so our change theme function let's use it so let's scroll down and here when this option is clicked we are also going to say on click when it is clicked we are going to call our change theme function and we are going to pass 0 for our light theme. So 0 like so and let me just copy this. So we are going to copy this like so control C and we are going to paste it here also. So control V and for this one we are going to say 1. So we, this will toggle the dark theme save. And now let's right click click on inspect. And let's try to click on this. Okay, we are getting some error. Let's see what is that. Okay, guys, this one should have should be an object and not an array. Sorry, that is because our theme is an object array of object. So this one will, so for example, the theme zero theme zero will give us an object and not an array. So here we are going to use the curly brace instead of square bracket, like so. And let's see if it works now. Save. Let's click on refresh. Let's try to click on this, and then as you can see, we get dash dash background color dash dash primary color dash dash text color so basically we are getting this part of our object so this is the key if we wanted to get the value we could simply say theme underscore theme and then we can simply say keys like so to get the value so if you have to save it refresh click on this as you can see this time we only get the value so if you just 
use the key we'll get the key and if we say underscore theme key in that case we'll get the value so just like that we, we want to update our settings so we're going to say underscore settings so underscore settings key equals to underscore theme key like so and finally after that we are going to say set settings to our updated settings object like so and if we were to save it nothing should happen if we were to just update it but now what we want to do is whenever our settings object change we want to do something so for that we are going to use a use effect here so we are going to say use effect we are also going to import use effect from react so we are going to say use effect like so so after that we can say use effect And what we want to do is we want to run this function whenever our settings changes so we are here inside the dependencies array we are simply going to pass our settings okay so for now let's just say console.log so console.log and let's just say settings updated so let me say settings updated like so save and let's try to click on this as you can see it says settings updated if i click on this it says settings updated okay instead of just saying settings updated what we want to do is update our css variable so for that what we need to do is first we need to have to target our root to target our root we can simply say const root equals should be root equals to document the document element so the document element will be our root and then we are, we are going to say for key in our settings so Again, we're looping through all the properties in our settings. We're going to say root dot style dot set property. So we're using the set property method to update our CSS variable, and we're simply saying key equals to setting. So for example, we're saying animation speed equals to one. So let's try to save it. Click on refresh, and then let's try to click on here. And as you can see, now we have this dark theme here. Let's go to our settings page, and if we were to click on this, we get this dark theme here. Okay, let's go to our settings and let's scroll down. So we are going to scroll all the way down to our options container. So the background color for this one, let's just say the background color will be background light like so. Save. And this is how this looks like and let's target our body. So we are going to scroll up. Here we are going to target our body. Let's say our body will also have a background color of our background color like so. Save. It should be background light sorry so background light save and so this is how this look like okay let's see if anything is wrong here let's go to our use effect so here let's just try to console log our settings so we're going to say console log so console.log settings save let's me click on inspect let me click on refresh and let me just click on this here so we have this background color this primary color so for some reason our primary color is becoming undefined let's see why it is becoming undefined okay in our loop here so inside this change theme function inside this loop instead of saying underscore setting we are going to say underscore theme we want to loop over the properties of theme not the settings so let me try to save it click on refresh let's click on this and now this is how this look like okay let's let's go to our settings so let's scroll down and we are going to scroll down here so this one here we are going to say color equals to our font our text color so we are going to say var dash dash text color so dash dash text dash color save and this is how this look like so let's see yeah so this is now working fine so if you click on this now we have this light theme if you click on this now we get this dark theme so this is working delete this we don't want this okay so just like this we are going to have a function to update our preferred colors okay again we have changed we need to change this to theme and this to color we have swap the text so let's go down here it will say preferred theme and scroll down and this will say preferred color instead okay so now it, it is saying the right thing okay so just like the change theme let's create a change color function so we're going to say function change color change color will change your primary color again it will take an index so our primary colors array let's see where is that so our primary colors is just an regular array array of just strings so this this one should be much more simpler we are going to say const so here we are going to say const color actually let's call it underscore color and the color will be our simply our colors so we are going to say color equals to primary colors and we want to get the ith color so 
the color at that index and then we're going to see underscore setting equal to digest the settings and then we're going to see settings primary color equals to the underscore color and then finally we can say set settings equals to the new settings save okay now we just need to use this function so let me just copy this let's scroll down scroll down to preferred color and here we're going to use the on click so we're going to say on click and when it is click we want to run this function so we want to run our change color function and here we're going to pass our index let's see if we are getting the index or not so yeah if we're getting the index here so we can just pass the index save let's click here now our theme has been changed to this if we were to click on this the theme has been changed to this but it looks like this this checkbox here is not updating let's see why is that so okay let's go to our function above here we also need to update our primary color so we're going to say set primary color so set i think we called it primary color equals to i like so save we can say just equal to one this is a function so we are going to pass i instead like so save if we click on this we get this blue color if we click on this we get this yellow color we can change our theme and everything is working okay let's remove this console log let's see where is the console log so this is the console log let me just delete this we don't need it so let's create the function for font size so we're going to create a function for change font size so we're going to say function change font size again it will take i it will going to say if size equals to font sizes it will get the i size from the font sizes variable then we're again doing the same thing here so simply updating the font size variable to i and rest is same as above so let's just save it and let me just copy this control c and let's scroll down and here is our font size so in the button we are going to say on click we are going to run this function we are going to call the change font size and we are going to pass the index save let's try to click on this okay it looks like it is not working let's see why is that okay the size here is an object that is because our font size variable is an object not a simple string so here instead of saying size we are going to say size dot value like so save let's try to refresh let's click on this and now we have this bigger font size if we click on this we get medium font size if we click on this we get very small font size and finally we just have to create a function to change our animation speed so we're going to say change animation speed and again we're simply going to say underscore speed equals to our animation speeds i then we're going to say settings equals to dot 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 settings we are going to change the animation speed of settings to a sp underscore speed dot value and then we are going to say set animation speed to i and finally settings to underscore settings so now let's use this control c let's go down all the way down to here again we are going to say on click here we are going to say and here we are going to pa call our change animation speed function and we need to pass our index save okay so if i were to now click here so this is how they come now let me close this let's change the animation speed to fast and now they comes faster if i were to cl click on slow let's click go here and uh, as you can see now the animation speed is very slow so everything is working our settings page is working just fine and let's just try to change the theme to dark let's just click here let's go to our home page and everything is looking fine in our home page I think we just need a little bit of border top on our card here so let's see how we can do that so let's just go to our index.scss actually let me just open my sidebar back and to change this we are going to have to go to our top shape section so this shape section here we're going to have this info here let's add just a bit of padding top so we're going to say pt for padding top of let's just say 0.5 em save and I think this is looking much better let's go to our recipes page and this is how they look like so let's go here let's go to recipes page and this is how they look like and here this is how they look like let's go to our settings and if i now go to the settings one thing you'll notice is everything has been changed back 
that is because we are not storing our settings so what you can do is use local storage to store your settings and that way if you refresh the page or come back to settings page from another page your settings won't be lost but you can do this on your own i won't show you this in, in this video otherwise our series has now been completed everything is now working our project is working as expected it is also fully responsive so that's all for this video series i hope you enjoyed this and learned something new if so once again i'm asking you to subscribe that would mean the world to me i'll try to keep making this type of video for you so yeah like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next series